chapter 2, lesson 1, is about multiplying by 10, 100, 1,000, and their multiples. So we're multiplying by 10, by 100, and by 1,000, and their multiples. So the rule is when we're multiplying by 10, all we need to do is add a zero to the product. Okay, if we're multiplying by 100, we add two zeros to the product. If we're multiplying by 1,000, therefore, we should be able to add three zeros to the 1,000. Now, when we're multiplying by multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000, the best thing to do is just to drop the zeros first, multiply the numbers without the zero, and then add the number of zeros in the end. Okay, so all of these will be explained shortly through several pages in the book. So we're looking at pages 19, 24, and 26. So let's begin. Okay, looking at these problems, starting with 1a of page 19, it says 45 times 10. So since we're multiplying by 10, all we do is take 45 and add 1, 0. So similarly in C, since it says 2,584 times 10, we take the 2, 8, 5, 4, and then we add a 0 which means the product is 28,540. So in 1C of this same page, it says find the missing number. So here, what's missing is, this is something times 8 is 80. So clearly, this must be a 10. Because if I have a 10, all I have to do is add a 0 to it. So similarly here, if I look at, this must be a 1 with one zero because this already has one zero and it needs a second zero to make it 36,500. Okay, in the next page, which is page 24, it says multiply. So here, the numbers are, we're now multiplying by a hundred and by a thousand. So it's the same thought process. We take the number 39 and since we're multiplying by a hundred, we add two zeros. Okay, similarly, if we take 7 times 1,000, that will be 7 with 3 zeros. So, when it's multiplying by tens, hundreds, or thousands, all you have to do is just add the zeros at the end. Okay, continuing on, we have, it says, find the missing numbers. So, this is 26, something times 26 is 2,600. So, clearly, this has to be a 1 with two zeros because I have two zeros at the end of my product. Okay, using the same thought process, 287 times blank is 287,000. So again, this must be a one with three zeros, making it 1,000. Now, here in this problem on page 26, we are now multiplying by multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000. So, which means what we want to do is take the product of the numbers without the zero and then add the zeros at the end. So, clearly these are computational in nature. So, I'll put my computation down here. 348 times 5. That's what we need to multiply. And then when we get the product of that, we add two zeros. So that means 40. This is 24. This is 15 plus 2 is 17. Okay, so that means that's 1740 with two zeros. Similarly, here we have a zero on the first and zeros on the second. So we just drop the zero and we take 72 
times 8. Take the product of that, and in the end, we add the 1, 2, 3 zeros. So, this is 16. 56 plus 1 is 57. So, that's 576 with 3 zeros. Making our product 576,000. So, in, uh, in conclusion, it's easy if it's just 10 hundred and thousand but once it's multiples of those all we have to do is drop their zeros multiply the numbers without the zeros get the product and then finish off by adding the number of zeros that concludes lesson one of chapter two see you in the next lesson